This tutorial briefly demonstrates the basic capability of XNURBS. It then makes an analysis and comparison between XNURBS and standard surfacing tools in ZW3D, and shows how XNURBS addresses the common problems in surfacing. XNURBS can be used to create quad-sided surfaces and n-sided surfaces. Quad-sided surfaces are natural NURBS surfaces without trimming, like the untrimmed surface showing here. N-sided surfaces are also called trimmed NURBS surfaces. We will compare XNURBS with standard surfacing tools for both cases. Firstly, we make a quick comparison for n-sided surfaces. The generated surfaces from the same set of input will be analyzed in terms of deviation, quality, number of control points in the performance. We now use XNURBS to create the patch. G2 continuity is required for all edges. This is the n-sided patch created by XNURBS. XNURBS generates surfaces in a matter of milliseconds. Since ZW3DFEN patch cannot create a valid surface with G2 continuity, so we only specify G1 for FEM. You may notice FEM is slow and needs several seconds to generate a patch. Next, we will analyze the generated surfaces using Rhino. This is G1 deviation analysis of the generated surfaces. For most users, the required G1 deviation should be less than 0.1 degree. The deviation generated by XNURBS is less than 0.04 degree. On the other hand, ZW3D native tool generates big G1 deviation, 1.79 degrees. This is the zebra view of generated surfaces. XNURBS generates a high quality surface. ZW3D native tool generates surfaces with distortions and ripples. This is the control points of generated surfaces. ZW3DFEM patching tool has an excessively dense control points. Comparing with XNURBS, the surfaces generated by ZW3D native tool has more than 7 times more control points. These analysis and comparison are based on the same set of input. This is why XNURBS can handle surfacing design with ease, accuracy and speed. Next, we make a quick comparison for quad-sided surfaces. This is a part of car body and is a quad-sided surface. G2 continuity is required for all edges. This quad-sided patch is created by XNURBS. This is the surface created by ZW3D Curve Mesh. Since ZW3D FEM cannot create a valid surface with G2 continuity, so we only specify G1 for FEM patch. This is the patch created by FEM with only G1 continuity. This is G1 deviation analysis. This is G0 deviation analysis. For the surface quality, the result is similar to the previous n-sided case. XNURBS generates a high quality surface. ZW3D native tools generate surfaces with distortions and ripples. These aircraft and automotive models you see here are some models created using XNURBS. XNURBS allows users to complete surfacing design with minimal tinkering and experimenting. With the help of XNURBS ease of use, powerful surfacing capabilities and the ability to let users focus on the design process with speed and accuracy, XNURBS helps CAD software like ZW3D become powerful surfacing software. Once you understand how XNURBS works and how you can use it, XNURBS makes the design process much easier, faster and more predictable than standard surfacing tools. The demo is made by XNURBS version 6.1. That is all for now. Check out our other tutorial videos for how to use XNURBS efficiently. Thank you for watching.